according to this word problem, renting a banquet room requires a down payment of $132.40. They also charge an additional $16.90 per hour. And the club that is renting it apparently has about 200 bucks that they can spend on this rental. And they ask us to use T to represent how many hours they could rent the banquet hall for and write and solve an inequality for the situation. Okay, so let's just set this up. So they have to do the down payment first. So as I start setting this up, I'm going to write down the down payment first. Down payment is $132.40. Then it says that they charge additional money. So in addition to that $132.40, I'm going to have to add in some extra money. How much extra money am I going to have to add? Well, it looks like it's $16.90, but per hour. So every additional hour costs $16.90. One would be one copy of $16.90, two would be two copies, and so forth. So how many hours do we actually rent the banquet hall for? Apparently T. So I'm going to multiply the 16.9 by T so that way I can get the total amount of money that I'm paying for the hourly fee depending on how many hours I spend. Now they said that they have $200 they can spend so that's going to be a maximum. We don't have to spend the whole $200 but I'm going to set it up as an inequality and say that this expression on the left which represents the amount of money must be less than or equal to 200. So this side over here is money, and this over here is my limit, and that's why it's less than or equal to that 200. And now I'm in algebra land, right? So we can start to do some algebra to try to solve the inequality. I'll subtract 132.40 from both sides of the equation. So that way I get 16.90t is less than or equal to 200 minus 132.4, that's 67.6. Then we'll divide both sides by 16.90, oh, because then I can get the t must be less than 67.60 divided by 16.90, and that's e less than or equal to 4. So there's the solution to the problem. The club can rent the banquet hall for less than or equal to four many hours. So why don't you pause the video and try this next problem on your own. Assuming you gave it a shot here, I'll help you out and we'll do it together. A phone company charges, <laughs> charges their customers $112.50 per month, $112.50 per month, plus an additional $1.35 per megabyte of data used. An individual wants to spend less than $153 on their phone plan this month. So using M to represent the number of megabytes of memory, write and solve an inequality. So very similar to the last one, we have an initial fee that we have to pay first, and that's in this problem an amount of 112.50. Then we have additional costs, additional costs, which is the per megabyte of data used. And what do we charge over there? But it looks like $1.35. But again, this is a variable amount. This is something that depends on the number of megabytes used. So if we have M many megabytes being used, we're just going to multiply that 1.35 by M to find out how many we actually have in total for the cost on the left. So this represents all of the cost. But then the problem says that we want the cost to be less than $153. So this sets us up with an equation. So let's try to solve, not an equation, sorry, an inequality. Try to solve the inequality. Subtract 112.50 from both sides. 1.35m is less than 153 minus 112.5. That is 40.5. Then divide both sides by 1.35. And we get m is less than, let's see, 40.5 divided by 1.35 is equal to 30. So if this person wants to keep their bill, they want to spend less than $153 this month, 
then they need to use less than 30 many megabytes of data.